What's up, Avina Nation? Welcome to today's video. How are you guys doing today? Welcome to 2018. I can't believe it's a brand new year. And with a brand new year comes brand new um, videos. Um, this year, I really want to build up this channel uh, to its fullest potential. And my focus, at least at the beginning of this year, is building up my book blog, and that includes making book-related videos here on my YouTube channel. So, I'm going to be doing video uh, reviews, I'm going to be doing uh, my favorites of each month, my favorite books I've read, um, you know, I'm going to do a whole bunch of book-related videos. So, today's video, as you can tell from the title, is my December 2017 book favorites. Uh, these are all the books I read and I loved in December, and I'm going to share like four of them with you guys. So, uh, here we go. Here are some of my favorites of the month. My fi my first favorite, and something I thought was funny and original and unique, is called Uber Diva by Charles St. Anthony. It was a very short read. It's a very, very short read, but it was a lot of fun. It's kind of like a memoir uh, slash guide to the life of an Uber driver. Uh, what to expect uh, from being an Uber driver, what the pay is like, uh, what kind of treatment you get from the company, and of course what everyone wants to know is the wildest, most insane stories you could poss possibly imagine in a book like this. Uh, that's what Uber Diva was. It was, a, like I said, a short read, but it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend you guys go pick up your copy of Uber Diva today. Another book I read in December that I really loved was State of Emergency by Mary Mary Halberd. There you go. Uh, it was like a young adult horror zombie kind of book uh, about this uh, teenager who finds herself in the middle of a zombie apocalypse at the very beginning of it uh, at, at when she sees a pop star um, eating another person at a concert uh, and it all kind of takes off from there it is the struggle for a group of teens to get to a safe place to find their family to find a safe haven while the zombie apocalypse just first starts taking hold uh, it's a, a very unique book to me because it explores what happens at the beginning when people are in disbelief that the event is happening or they don't know how to react or how to stop the zombie apocalypse. Uh, it's a really unique uh, kind of stumbling through the motions of what would you do if the zombie apocalypse was suddenly on you. And that's what this book does beautifully. Highly recommend State of Emergency by Mary Hallberg, one of my favorites of last month. Another book that I absolutely loved was actually a very short story that I was given by uh, an author I've had the pleasure of working with before. His name is Haji Outlaw, and the book was called Hey Doorman Number no. 5. Uh, it's basically a short read about some of the most strange and unique experiences he's had as a bartender, in, or not a bartender, a bouncer in Los Angeles. I'm not a bounce bartender, um, but it's got in incredible stories. Some are more uh, outrageous than others. Like, uh, there's a one chapter that deals with a truly strange experience with a very well-known Star Wars actor. Um, and others, you know, it's like a commentary on society and politics and all that fun stuff. And a very short read. It was really fun to read. Um, highly recommend it. Uh, if you guys want to check out my full thoughts on it, of course, on, on all of these books, go to my blog. I am trying to build my blog this year, so if you could subscribe to it, it's totally free to subscribe. Link is down below. Make sure you follow my blog for all that book goodness. Finally, my favorite book of last month uh, that I highly recommend you guys read is called Pretty Mary's All in a Row by Gwendolyn Keast. Um, such a wonderful read. Um, a truly unique story, uh, very short as far as the paperback goes, but it's unique in that it's about uh, it's the legends. It's about the legends of famous Marys, uh, you know, the Bloody Mary or Resurrection Mary, and that's who the main character is, Resurrection Mary. It's all about 
where who are these ghosts what made the legends real and what happens when um, not only do they all meet and live together but something strange is hunting them uh, it's a really unique tale it brings more depth and humanity to these legends and it was written in a very like creepy but beautiful way um, that's all I, that's the best way I can describe it it was one of the most unique original stories I read and definitely one of my favorites of 2017 overall but pre Mary's in an all in a row by Gwendolyn Keast definitely one of my favorites of uh, December well there you guys go that was uh, my book wrap up for December 2017 it was a great way to end the year there are of course so many books I read last month that I absolutely loved and adored uh, but those were just my favorites of the month. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Like I said, you can find those and so many more reviews and book-related items on my blog. Uh, so go check out the link down below. I'm going to be doing a lot of work with my blog this year. And I'm hoping to make it a fully functioning business as well. Um, so I'm really excited about this year and the future. I have some great projects on the way. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure you follow me on all my social media links down below. You guys can see all my updates on social media, especially Instagram is where I'm at the most. Also Twitter and Facebook, all those fun places. All those links are down below. You can also get your copy of my book right there. I Was an Evil Teenager Remastered. Uh, that is available right now, as well as my book, uh, Welcome to Nightmare Academy, and so many more. Uh, go check out all the links for those down below. Sorry about my dog barking. Um, but that's it, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Please give this video a big thumbs up. And in the comments below, let me know what was your favorite book you read last month. Leave those comments down below letting me know what you read. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. It'd mean the world to me if you did. Thanks for tuning in, Avina Nation. And remember, keep hashtag hope alive. And I'll see you next time for a brand new video. Long days and pleasant nights.